Hello. Um, I'm doing my second Allure Beauty Allure 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 Beauty Box video. Um, I did my first one not too long ago, actually, because it was for February, and I ordered it like right at the end of February. So these are very close together. I don't even know if you liked that one because it hasn't even gone live yet. But I got my second one, and I was so excited about this one. So I was really excited to share it with you. So this beauty box is a $15 a month subscription. The first month is $10 when you sign up. If you didn't watch my last video, you can watch that. I will link it below. I kind of talked about why I chose this one over all the other beauty boxes out there. This month, actually, for March, which this video is probably going up in April, is their clean beauty box. So all of these products are clean beauty, which is really important to me. That means they're cruelty free. I think most of them are vegan. They have like natural ingredients, things like that. And I'm very excited about it. There's only one makeup product, so that's why I'm not doing like a whole you know, um, makeup look. But I have one makeup product in here that I will apply, so I should probably take these off. So I already did open this box because unboxings, I think, are a little bit boring, but this is sort of like a first impression. It's just like my opinions on these so far. I've tried some, not others, and there isn't a couple that I am allergic to, which is a bummer. But I feel like that's just gonna happen because the ingredients I'm allergic to in beauty are rose and beeswax, which are in a ton of products. So the first thing I forgot to mention in my last video is a little bag that comes with it. How freaking cute is this? I got a black one last month and this one's white. It has little gold like snaps and it's like vinyl and it's not huge or anything but I think it's super cute. I feel like you can use that for, I don't know, like a makeup bag, pencil case, whatever the heck you want to use it for. But you know what, we're gonna go through the book, the little book that comes with it that tells you the prices and all that stuff. The first thing in the book is this. I've never even heard of this brand before. I feel like maybe I have not enough that like, I remembered it. It's Au Naturel. Looks like this, this is a full-size product. I think there's always one full-size product in there. This full-size product retails for $35, which is insanity. What it is, is a Wear Anywhere Cream Multi-Stick in Grapefruit. I think there's quite a few shades of this. I looked it up online. I haven't tried this yet, so we're gonna try it right now, actually. It's really pretty packaging it's heavy like this is heavy it's a multi-stick so you can use it on your eyes your cheeks your lips whatever the color is not exactly my favorite it's like a peachy pink it's quite bright um, i'm sure it's gonna like you know sheer out it almost looks to me a little like nars orgasm but a little more like peach it's definitely shiny sheared out really pretty and it feels like a i guess like a lip balm but not too tacky but there's so much shimmer and i'm not a big fan of shimmer when it comes to like face products but let's try it. When you go like this, it doesn't really feel moisturizing. It feels, I don't know. So there's like, I put a lot on my finger. Is that too much? I might be putting too much on. I mean, you might not have to use a highlight and it's coming off on camera, I feel like more than person. I mean, it'd probably look better if I had like a face makeup on. I don't have anything on my face. I don't know, it's pretty. It doesn't exaggerate my pores. I mean, I have big pores anyway, but it's a pretty color. I'll definitely continue to use that. I'm not allergic to any of the ingredients. There is a lavender oil in here, so um, I'm totally fine with that. I love lavender in my skincare products, but some people find that really bad for their skin, so watch out for that. I feel like, yeah, this is the kind of color if you put like all here, you would look like you got some sun. I really like stuff like this. I love cream products, and I like that it's like cream, but not so creamy, if that makes sense. Next is one I'm allergic to. It's the same brand I actually got last month. I got a cleanser and this time it's a toner but it's a rose water toner like I said I'm allergic to rose I'm sure it's great for people who like rose this will not be something that I will use I'm gonna put it in a giveaway or give it to a friend or something along with the cleanser so can't really say much about that one so next you could have gotten a biosance am I saying that right a squalene and peptide eye gel or the squalene and vitamin c rose oil super happy i didn't get the rose oil i got the eye gel which i'm very very happy about i love eye creams i know some people think they're completely unnecessary i get that i have very dry under eyes like severely dry i have to put like oil under my eyes in order to put concealer on and have it not look dry so i got the eye cream i'm very excited about it. the full price of this eye cream it's $54. What? And this is obviously a mini though. It reduces visible puffiness in dark circles. I've only used it last night and this morning. I really like the little packaging. It's like gold and green. It has an airless pump in here. I can feel it when I pump it out. And this is going to be used up so fast because when you make a pump, I feel like the amount it gives you is more than you really need. It's like a gel serum almost. It's, it when you apply it, it feels really cooling. It almost feels like thick water, if that sounds weird. But I really like the feeling of it. Squalene is something that I put all over my face in another 
brand. I find it very hydrating. I really like the feeling underneath my eyes when I use this. I didn't notice like less darkness or anything like since last night, but I used it both last night and today. It didn't irritate me. I'm not allergic to any of the ingredients. I think this is a really great brand. It is quite expensive, but um, I am happy to have this and I'll definitely use it up if I didn't have such a um, low budget. I this might be something I would consider buying. Next is very exciting because this is a brand I've been looking into a lot recently. I have like four of their products saved in my cart on a website. This is a, a Cure. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever said it out loud. Uh, a Cure. It's a vegan and cruelty free brand. A paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, petroleum free, silicone free. And I'm very excited about this. The only thing is there is rose flower oil in here which makes me nervous. But this is the Seriously Soothing Night Oil. It's called Tansy Oil. I was really hoping to kind of use this all over my skin before I use the um, Guasa. I've learned recently from a few people here on YouTube how to use it. Elizabeth Hernandez actually is someone who I love and she recently did a video um, teaching kind of how to do it and its benefits. So I'll link her video below if you're interested in that. It's kind of like a jade roller type situation but different. I'm not an expert or anything but I was hoping to use this like to use with that. But this is a mini version of it. It's super cute. It comes in like I think it's actually blue. Like that's just so cute. And it's actually a roll-on like a perfume which I think is interesting. I'm rolling it onto my hand right now and it's a very thin oil. Um, it doesn't feel thick. Like when I go like this now it, it's like almost completely absorbed already. It smells like perfume, I gotta be real. I don't think I would want to put this on my face even if I wasn't allergic to it. And it does smell like rose, which is kind of frustrating to me. I know I'm allergic to rose, but I also don't like the smell of rose. It's definitely not something I'll be continuing to use. I wish I could and like I was excited to get it, but once I saw the ingredients, I was a little bummed. But I do think most people, if you're not allergic to rose and you like the smell of rose, this is cool. You can use it at night. It says you can put it on dry spots before makeup, even on the ends of the hair. Oh, that's interesting. As I keep glancing the viewfinder, I really do like the color of this multi-stick thing. I, and that might be my favorite thing from the box. Okay, next up is something I'm very, 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 very excited about. It's probably next to that blush thing, I really am very excited. The full price is $32.50 and it's from Derma E, which is a brand, if you don't know, I love love. I have like three or four new products from them and all of them are amazing. I literally love their line. If you look into them, they're just fantastic. They're vegan, cruelty free. They use really amazing ingredients. For the price, it's kind of mid-range pricing I would say. The ingredients kind of blow like high-end luxury brands out of the water in my opinion. It's a microdermabrasion scrub and I love a good scrub. That sounded weird. <laughs> but I really do love a good scrub. And this smells really good. I could not put my finger on it yesterday. Oh, it's like sweet. It says something about orange, but it doesn't smell like orange to me. But it says it has salt and grapeseed oil and it lifts away dead cells, cleans pores, and moisturizes. I haven't actually used it yet. The ingredients are great and it looks like, it just looks like a cream in here. That means it's gonna be nice and gritty and fine. It actually, the texture of it looks very similar to the Pores No More. Is that what it's called? I can't remember, but I'm really excited about this. Super excited about this. I love this brand. Totally, totally love this. And then the next product, you could have gotten one of these two. The Ren Evercom Overnight Recovery Balm or the True Cream Aqua Balm. And I am glad I got the Overnight Recovery Balm, but it has beeswax in it. So I'm allergic to it. I didn't actually know it had beeswax in it because it is cruelty free. So I put it on my lips yesterday and my lips started getting all tingly and weird. So I'm allergic to it. Super. But it usually comes in a pot, but it comes in like a little tube you get a you know sample size and it looks really cool it's a very light balm it's supposed to help get rid of redness and dry spots and stop your skin from looking uneven and ashy full size is 48 dollars but i do think i'll give this to someone else because other people could easily get a good use out of it but it's very thin it absorbs very easily it doesn't leave that like thick feeling on you this is the last product i think it is at the end you could have either gotten an amica velveteen dream smoothing balm I think it's for your hair or a Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster which is what I got and I was very excited about it. This I'm not allergic to. I'm actually super excited to try this out because I've heard a lot of good stuff from this brand. Pretty much you can use it as a moisturizer or add it into your normal moisturizer. It's a tiny little tiny little thing but it has hyaluronic acid in it and mineralizing water whatever that is i've read some reviews on it and people really seem to like it i could always use some more moisture so i might just like add it into my moisturizer at night or in the daytime or something i think that's really cool Ooh, ooh, ooh that's cool that's cool like that is cold feeling can you see that it just it looks like a little blob of water oh wow it's like oh my god i don't even know how to describe it that's really nice 
wow and one pump literally just like covered my whole hand and like both hands like melting right into my skin and it feels very smooth but not like silicone -y smooth I don't know that's cool full size of this is $29.50 but yeah I'm pretty excited about most of this stuff there are three products this time instead of two I think from the last time that I am allergic to so it's kind of a bummer I'm hoping that's not the case and like that doesn't just happen to happen in every single box next month actually I'm pretty sure from what I saw on the website it's gonna be a collab with Carly by Bell, if I'm saying her name right. I haven't watched her in a long time, but apparently she picked some of her favorites for next month, so that's exciting. And my two favorites from this box are definitely the scrub and this blush stick. I really like the eye cream, so those are definitely the three things that I'm really very excited about. Like, honestly, just from this, it's already worth the price of the box. And then this is cool too, so I mean, I got four products that I can definitely use and I will use and I'm excited about, and then three things I can give away, which I'm happy to do. I like getting products to give to other people. And if I didn't have these allergies, then I don't think, then I think I would really like everything except for the rose, because I don't like the smell of rose. But yeah, so that is it for the March beauty box from Allure. Hope this video was helpful for you. I still think it was worth it. I'll let you know if there's ever a box that comes and I'm like, ooh, what the heck, I'm not happy with anything. But so far, I'm very impressed. I've had other boxes in the past and so far, the two I've gotten have blown those ones out of the water. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.